Hey guys, welcome to another vi special as my 50 subscribers and the Simpsons to Myers Briggs. This is a personality test, and we're gonna find out what Simpson character I am. So let's get started. Direction of energy. You prefer to direct your energy to deal with people, things, and present situations. Active, outward people, expressive. Ugh. Interaction, speak to think, or I, you prefer to direct your energy to study ideas, information, explanations, or beliefs. Reflective, inward, privacy, contain, concentration, think to speak. Huh. I'm more of an I, so I'm going to put that down. Information processing. You prefer to deal with facts, proven procedures, and what you know. You are a realist who exists in the here and now. Details, present, practical, sequential, quantifiable, actual, or in. You prefer to deal with ideas, look into the unknown, to generate new possibilities, and to anticipate the unseen. Patterns, future, imaginative, random, so I'm going with an S. Oh, I spelled is right now. <laughs> Stupid promotion keep popping up. Freaking stupid. Making decisions. You, T. You prefer to decide on the basis of logic using an analytic and sometimes impersonal approach. Details present practical, sequential, objective, actual. Or F. You prefer to decide using values and beliefs using subjective, people oriented approach. Heart, subjective, harmony, relationships, empathy, appreciate. That's a definite F. Organizing information. You tend to have your life to be planned in a stable and organized way. Organize, structure, control, schedule, set goals, consentious, whatever that is. Or P, you tend to be flexible, respond to situations, and go with the follow. Spontaneous, flexible, laid back, instinctive, gathers information, and uncontrived. Oh, that's hard. Uh, well, I'm J. That's what I am. Cross match. The four letters you picked will give you a four letter code like ENTJ. Use this code to help you find your Simpsons character. Oh. Auto says. So, what are all those letters anyway? E, extra, extraverted, or I, introverted. S, sensing, or N, intuition. T, thinking, or F, feeling. J, judging, or P, perceiving. Wait a minute, so I'm introverted, sensing, feeling, and judging. That doesn't sound right. Okay. Chief Wiggum. E S D J. Nope. He is the O receiver. E S T Js are responsible, logical, norm following, hard workers. Their efforts are carried out in a practical, structured manner. E S T Js trust facts and experiences more than theories. They are decisive, loyal, tradition, observing and individuals. They enjoy being the person in charge and often make good supervisors. Well, I'm not Chief Wiggum. Profile. ESTJs live in a world of facts and not concrete needs. They live in the present with their eye constantly scanning their personal environment to make sure that everything is running smoothly and sy systematically. They honor traditions and laws and have a clear set of standards and beliefs. Accountant, audit, auditor, banker, business administrator, business analysis, computer specialist, detective, economist, editor, engineer, financial officer, etc. Oh, police. That fits Chief Wiggum's career because he is a police officer. ESFJ, Ned Flanders. The supporter. ESFJs are social butterflies that value relationships, supporting and nurturing others. Never one to shy away from social events, they are often the host. They are great encouragers of teamwork. 
ESFJs are responsible, dutiful, observe traditions, and follow rules. That definitely fits Ned Flanders. ESFJs have a deep concern for others and open end up caretakers. They are sensitive to criticism and have a need to be appreciated for the good they do for others. ESFJs are understanding, generous, have a quick wit and knack, I think, for com composition and beautification. Oakley Doakley. Uh, guardians of birthdays, holiday celebrations, are entertainers, enjoy and joyfully observe traditions, are liberal in the giving. Cow and administra yeah, you get pretty much get the um, thing. Wait, church worker, that's definitely Ned. Yeah, that's probably his job. I S T J Oh, that was close for mine. Mine is I S F J. Principal Skinner, the examiner. I S T Js are responsible, loyal, and hardworking. They have an acute sense of right and wrong and work hard at preserving established norms and traditions. Because of their deep sense of duty, they are dedicated to everything they do and are very dependable. ISTJs are deeply for those closest to them. Huh. ISTJs are often called inspectors. They have a keep sense of right and wrong, especially in their area of interest and or responsibility. They are noted for devotion to duty. Punctuality is watchword for ISTJ. Secretary, clerk, or business name by whom others set their clocks is likely to be an STJ. Um, let's see here. No teacher? Oh, wait, principal. There is no principal in here. Huh. I guess administrator will go with their financial officer. I don't know. I can't believe Principal's down there. It's called Principal Skinner for a reason. I-S-F-J. I'm Marge Simpson. Hmm. The Defender. I-S-F-Js are traditional, loyal, quiet, and kind. They are very sensitive to other people's needs because they are very observant. They are rich in their thoughts and emotions. They value stability and cultural norms. They are very adept at Giving attention to detail. They do not seek positions of authority. Well, that's I'm Marge Simpson. ISFJ. Um, let's see. Home. Okay, so Homemaker's not on here, but it's on. Okay. ISFJs are characterized above all their desire to serve others. There are need to be needed. I don't serve others. In extreme cases, this need is so wrong that staring give and take relationships are deeply unsatisfying to them. However, most ASFJs find more than enough which occupy themselves with the framework of normal life. Okay, that's somewhat me, I guess. Cowbunga, dude. Yes, TPs are action loving. Here are now realists with excellent people skills, information, risk tasting. Risk taking. I, caramba! Fast paced and adaptable, they are not always in agreement with rules and regulations. They are tactical problem solvers that desire quick results. ESTPs who present a friendly, enthusiastic face are straight shooters that are able to handle criticism. Enthusiastic, excitable, blah blah blah, we got that. ESFP, Homer Simpson, the entertainer. He is definitely the entertainer of the show. He's probably one of the best characters. ESFPs are cooperative here. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> yeah, Homer's co cooperative. Here are now people, persons that enjoy excitement and love new adventures. Because of their highly social nature, they are especially loving when they are the center of attention. Hey, people, you alone. Yes. FPs have a practical side that follows them to finish work efficiently and are often good problem solvers. Mm-hmm. Sideshow Bob, the Craftsman. ISTP. ISTPs are adventurous and independent. They like to figure out how things work. 
They have great mechanical and technical skills. They depend. They have a great mechan uh, mechanical and technical skills. They live in here now, which makes them adaptable and spontaneous. They like to keep busy and are action oriented. ISTPs thrive on new exciting situations. Yep, that fits Sideshow Bob. Huh, um. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Smithers, ISFP, the artist. ISFPs are artistic. Wait, what's the slide? How many slides is this? Creative, loyal, and sensitive. They have a keep appreciation for beautiful ugh, beauty because of highly developed senses. They're easy to get along with them here now. ISFPs are adaptable, caring, independent, and like to contribute to the well-being of others. They are typically hard to get to know. Yeah, yeah. ENTJ, Krusty, the thief. ENTJs are strate strategic, organized, and possesses, possesses natural leadership qualities. They are master coordinators that can effectively give direction to groups. They are able to understand complicated organizational situations and quick to develop intelligent solutions. ENTJs are outspoken and will not hesitate to speak of their plans for improvement. They are decisive and value of knowledge, efficiency, efficiency, and confidence. I cannot speak today. Ooh. Let's see. Child care, maybe. Ah, uh, does it have clown on there? Whatever. Ken Brockman, ENTP. Any ENTPs are logical... Innovative, curious, and downright intuitive. inventive. They see possibilities for improvement everywhere and possesses the ability to understand complex concepts. ENCPs are introspective and career uh, nonconformist. They often neglect the more common areas of life while pursuing new solutions. ENTPs can be good conversationalists and exciting company. Actor, let's see, maybe. Um, researcher, maybe. Writer, no. Oh. INTJ, Mr. Burns, the strategist. I think Sajibok could fit in under that, too. INTJs are introspective, intellectual, determined persons, persons with natural leadership ability. Being reserved, they prefer to stay in the background while leading. Strategic, knowledgeable, and adaptable. INTJs are talented in bringing ideas from conception, conception to reality. They expect perfection from themselves as well as others and are comfortable with the leadership of another. So, they, so as long as they are competent. INTJs can also be described as decisive. Open-minded, self-confident, attentive, theoretical, and pragmatic. Excellent. Uh, let's see here. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, this never ends. INTP. Professor Frank. Oh, I guess we could have 16 combinations. I don't know how many we've been through. The Engineer. INTPs are logical, individualistic. I don't think I said that right. Reserved and very curious individuals. They focus on ideas, theories, and the explanation of how things work. They're especially adept at decisions and debate. They have the ability to focus intently on a subject. A subject they appreciate and respect intelligence in others. He's definitely a scientist, Professor Frank. ENFJ, Apu, Nahasa Mi, 
Na Apu Nahasa Pima Pedawan. Did I say that right? I don't know. The mentor. ENFJs are extremely focused, introspective, altruistic, positive, and have excellent people skills. They place utmost importance on helping others grow. They are warm and have a natural desire to be supportive and encouraging. Being charismatic and possessing excellent language skills, they do well in leadership roles. ENFJ strive to enhance the lives of those around them. I don't know about all this, but he's a quirk at the Quickie Marts. Oh, this is interesting. ENFP, Barney. Hold on. Let's see if I can do it. <coughs> Probably not a Barney bird, but oh well. ENFPs are introspective, values oriented, inspiring, social, and extremely expressive. They actively send their thoughts and ideas about into the world as a way to bring attention to what they feel to be important, which often has to do with ethnics, current events. ENFPs are natural advocates, attracting people to themselves and their cause with excellent people skills, warmth, energy, and positivity. ENFPs are described as creative, resourceful, assertive, spontaneous, life-loving, charismatic, passionate, and experimental. Um, no, don't see any jobs of alcoholic, or, um, yeah, alcoholic, there's, no, there's nothing about here on there, surprised. Finally, INFJ, Lisa Simpson, one of my favorite characters. INFJ, the con the confident. Is that spelled right? Or is it confident? I don't know. INFJ is making up an estimated 1% of all people. The most rare type, males even more so. They are introspective, caring, sensitive, gentle, and complex people that strive for peace and derive satisf satisfaction from helping others. INFJs are highly intuitive, empathetic, and dedicated listeners. These traits tend to act as a tell-me-what's-wrong sign on their forehead. Hence the nicknames Confident or conf Confident, whatever, or Counselor. INFJs are intensely private and deeply committed to their beliefs. Now... I mean, it said I was Marge Simpson, but I could also fit as Lisa. I can relate to her, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's see here. I don't know. Ah, uh, here we go. INFP, Ralph Wiggum. I want to be... I want to grow up to be a caterpillar. I don't remember the line. Uh, oh, I want to grow up to be a principal or a caterpillar. Caterpillar, caterpillar, caterpillar. INFP, the dreamer. That totally fits Ralph. INFPs are interest... Uh, interest... Perspective, private, creative, and highly idealistic individuals that have a constant desire to be a meaningful path. They are driven by their values and seek peace. Empathetic and passionate. They want to help others in humanity as whole. INFPs are imaginative, artistic, and often have a talent for language and writing. They can also feel they can also be described as easygoing, selfless. Guarded, adaptable, patient, and loyal. Um. DYI, your turn. Create your own personality test using your favorite TV show, movie, or book. Um. Doing 30 minutes? No, I'm not doing that. 
Wow. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video of thank you for um, 50 subscribers. And also, go to www.slideshare.net slash mobile slash intruin slash simpson. Oh, wait, never mind. Slash the dash simpsons dash Meyer Briggs dash test. And I want you guys to um, see what Simpsons character you are. And um, once you take it, let me know in the comments below what Simpsons character best fits you. Anyways, I'll wrap up today's special. Once again, thank you for 50 subscribers, and I look forward to to making more videos in the future. Hasta luego!